Day one of Rally de Morocco. We're at LAX. We basically, I think, have 25 hours worth of travel. We get to Casablanca, then we have a nine hour drive to where we're gonna shake down a test of cars. It's gonna be a long 10 days away from home, but the journey has just begun. Well, we are uh, officially with our race cars. We drove from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. <laughs> after our 25 hours of flying, so it was crazy. So we're here and we're gonna do photo shoot this morning for Monster Energy. Uh, we're gonna do a photo shoot for Can Am. Uh, then we're gonna do some video stuff for Monster and Can Am. Uh, do a little shakedown, get ourselves ready for the Morocco Rally. done here testing dude this place is amazing I love this hotel got all our photos and videos done I got everything we needed now we're gonna head back up to Fez uh, we're like I think it's like a nine-hour drive and then we have scrutineering and then chill for the next two days so it's been good I'm ready for this so we're doing all the paperwork side of things it's pretty gnarly like they have it really detailed out you have a time slot that you have to do it at uh, you gotta do it a certain way, all the stamps. Similar to how we do in Baja, just way more organized and uh, way more detailed, so. Gotta have everything done, otherwise you can't race. Scrutineering, just tech inspection of the car, making sure it's all good. All right, scrutineering is all done, car pass tech, uh, we're good to go. Downtown went to the Medina, uh, pretty unreal. We got to go up top. It literally was like the movie Aladdin. You could see all the different elevation of all the housing. And... Africa, mama, papa, Japanese. Africa, mama, papa, Japanese. The markets and all the you know foods and different things you can buy down there. Like no room for a car. Pretty crazy experience. So checked it all out. Did a little sightseeing. Something we really never get to do. So watch your toes. Watch your chunkless. <laughs> Day one, we got 245 kilometers of uh, liaison this morning and then 220 kilometers of special. So we're running open class. We're running exactly how we're going to race into cars. So everyone else here uh, is running FIA rules, which does not apply to Dakar. So we do, we just want to test. I don't need to come here. I'm not in the points or anything. So we're excited for the day. Day one went good, no issues. Uh, Sean's doing a great job navigating. We got one puncture or one flat tire. Car's perfect. 
we're gonna make some changes tonight and, and just try to keep learning for the car. So the whole goal is to try new things uh, every single day. Uh, you know, this race we're running an open SSV just for the tire rule, uh, getting ready for the car. So yesterday we started an hour behind the field. Today we start an hour ahead of the field. So it's gonna be interesting, no tracks today. So lots of navigation. Day two of the rally and everything is going good. So we won the stage today and we're now leading the rally overall in our category. So tomorrow we test a lot more stuff. I'm excited uh, for the next three days. So I opened these halfway, I did a four, half turn, and it helped. Today we get neutralization inside the bivouac, so we get 45 minutes to do whatever we want to the car, so we're testing, obviously. So we're putting another clutch in it right now, uh, making some suspension changes, and then, yeah, gonna send it some more. We got lost, period. Because that doesn't show here, it went around and then, but we ended up, we drove all over the place. Alright, day four in the books. Uh, today went really well. So the mistakes that Sean and I made yesterday, we did some homework last night, did some fine tuning, and today we uh, did not have any mistakes. So super stoked on that. And uh, yeah, it looks like we got the stage win today and, and now leading the rally in our category. So I'm super pumped. So now one more day back up to Fez and lock this thing up. Been challenges definitely throughout the stages but every day you learn new stuff and just us communicating to one another so no this race has been good for us we've, uh, we're, we're gonna take a lot home and uh, do some more training when we get back and all in all I think it's been great didn't want to make any mistakes I never wanted to get out of the car uh, Sean did a super good job navigating so we never got off course just making it happen I'm excited so this makes uh, the car even better so everything we learned here we're gonna uh, move forward with in first place, Kazekuli is Shirt Buriman.
<laughs> Thank you for watching. Now, comment below. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Subscribe right here. Watch more videos here. Thank you guys.